I just wanted to show you my sump, <clears throat> homemade sump design. I made it out of a 40 gallon breeder from Petco. I got it on sale for $54. Um, so I just want to show you how I configured it. Um, as you can see, I've got the brand new um, Bubble Magoose um, roller mat filter. It's the large size. Um, so anyway, water comes in here. I'm going to put a 90 degree fitting to get around to get around the motor and then have the flexible hose come in from the backside like that. Water will come down through here. Um, I can put um, my heaters are going to go down underneath underneath here. This is the stand for the um, protein skimmer. So that'll be working there. Water in here should be about 12 to th about 12 and a half, 13 inches high. Water will go down uh, through the holes in this partition. It's going to go into the refugium. So water is going to go under the grate. I'm going to have um, live rock um, uh, or rock um, uh, rubble um, on top of this grate. That way I get free water flow and then um, have my chato um, up in here. Um, that way have good um, uh, habitat to grow um, copepods and whatnot. Then water is going to come up and it's going to go up into up into these. These go through the wall. You can see this is covered. Um, these go um, through this partition. And I have um, on my milling machine, I cut a slot um, on the bottom side of this. So the water is going to come in and splash down over by a bunch of bio balls. And uh, it's going to be kind of a trickle filter. Yeah, I'm old school. I started this in the 90s. So I still like uh, wet dry filters or trickle filters. Um, if you look underneath, you can you can see how the water will, will trickle down. So then water will trickle down um, through here. The water level will be about seven inches back here. It'll go through here, under here. This is a compartment where I can throw bags of, um, um, you know, activated carbon or or whatever. And then here's going to be my chamber for my return pump. So the reason I designed it, I designed it this way is because that way everything that I need to service, um, filter, protein skimmer, uh, refugium is directly up front, easy to access. I don't have to reach out over over anything, anything like that. And then also, I wanted to do the the roundabout um, system because that way I have all my pipes coming in and out all all on one side underneath underneath the um, um, in the cabinet. So it's just going to make for a much uh, cleaner installation, less cluttered, and um, easy to. Um, um, you know, easy to service things. If it's not easy, I won't do it a lot. I know myself, so I need to make it easy on myself. So hope you think it's cool. Um, this is just a little um, plate I put here to help deaden the sound. And then I'm gonna have glass covers um, over most of this, have glass covering it to help cut down on evaporation. And then I'll have my uh, refugium, my fuge light um, right here on top. Oh, about four inches or so up above. Um, so anyway, that's my uh, sump design and um, let the silicone cure for 48 hours and hopefully put it in service. Take care. Thank you.